Welcome to historic St. Augustine. This is the courtyard of the Leitner Museum, and it was originally built in 1887 as the Alcazar Hotel. It was very elegant and had resort-style service. But half a century later, in about 1946, it had to find a new life, and it became the Leitner Museum. Now, in a little while, we'll meet Barry Myers, who's the curator here, and he's going to show us a very special desk. I'm really glad you could join us. Let's go inside. This is Barry Myers. He's the curator here. And Barry's going to show us this spectacular desk that looks as though it were built for a king. Well, Sarah, it was. It was built for Louis Bonaparte. And Louis Bonaparte was uh, Napoleon Bonaparte's brother. And Napoleon uh, made his brother king of Holland. And even though he was an imposed king on another nation, he was actually a very popular king. And I'd love to see how it operates, because I know there's some hidden secrets here. Sure, Sarah, let me show you. I'm able to pull the desk chair out. This is the desk chair. This is the chair. And the chair back folds up. And then this allows us to uh, access the roll top desk. And then I have a secret locking mechanism that if I push this button here, it allows me to open up this. Oh my. Now, the, uh, if this doesn't look like enough drawers, these are all false drawers on the front. And there's enough. So there's room for everything in this desk. There it's, is. It's very organized. Oh, I see there. See all the drawers here? Yes, that, they're uh, alphabetized. Exactly. Is that an ivory inlay? This, this is a mother of pearl. Mother of pearl, even better. And how many drawers all together? There are over 200 drawers. Oh my. And if you were to uh, allow me to get up here, I'll show you there's another, again, another locking device here, which I push, allowing me to open this. And this opens up as well. And these are also alphabetized. They are, they are they're lowercase. Uh, this side, where you're standing, opens as well. Mm -hmm. Same idea uh, Same here. idea. A lot of times, you know, in the 19th century, they didn't have electric lighting, so if they were working at night, this is a place for your candle, candle stand. Barry, I can't help but notice that this desk reminds me of something, a musical instrument? Well, a pipe organ, and so you're correct. And uh, the clock actually still works. We don't have it running right at the moment. And then what I love is the opera box up above, or it looks like an opera box, and that would originally, uh, you would have had a couple of porcelain figurines. Oh, I see. So in here, the opera box over the clock, over the pipe organ, I think that's a pretty neat. It's very neat. And the chair, does it house anything other than it the does. chair? It uh, does. You notice the solid panel in the front. And what's hidden behind here? Well, these there are three more drawers hidden here. This is a false panel. This is actually a timbre door, which, as I lift it up, reveals the drawers. And I see some decoration here. Is this marquetry? Yes, the, uh, this is uh, marquetry and parquetry. Uh, the difference being that uh, marquetry is a figural uh, or floral, and parquetry is geometric. What do you think the, the reason for this particular pattern is? I think it's just a device to make it look like a uh, vanishing it does, Would tile. it be the stage or the lower exactly, stage? Exactly, sort of the like opera? that. I think that might have been a part of the idea. Well, I've really enjoyed seeing the desk. It's super spectacular. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. 